The Crane Song Avocet is a top of the line monitoring controller that cost over $4,000, but I recently sold it and switched to a $200 plugin from Ginger Audio called Sphere. Now, one of the main reasons of switching to this was because I have key three speakers, which are digital inputs, and the Avocet didn't actually have a digital output. What's more is the Ginger Audio Sphere gives me limitless abilities for inputs and outputs with up to eight stereo inputs and seven stereo outputs. It also gives you the ability to monitor in Dolby Atmos up to 9.1.6, and you can add plugins to the inputs or the outputs. So if you're using something like Sonarworks for room correction or Decibel for your metering, it's a great way to use it on all your inputs or all your outputs. Lastly, it works with Avid's Yukon or Stream Deck, so you can use either of those devices to switch between inputs and change the volume. Me personally, I have an Avid dock and it works great for changing the volume in the inputs and outputs. In today's video, I'll show you how the plugin works and how to set it up. Let's go. Okay guys, so here's the plugin. We'll go over it really quick and then we can get into how I have it set up. First is the inputs. You have input meters, which is cool. I don't use this because I like to use an outboard uh, metering system, but if you need it, it's here, and it's great for if you're on the run or on the go. Uh, you have peak or LUFS, and you can switch which input you want to monitor, and then you also have the different platforms uh, for their streaming standards to see where your levels are for whatever standard you are mastering for. Um, you can pause, reset it, and all that, or just turn it off like I have it. And then below you have eight inputs. I don't know if anyone really needs eight inputs, but maybe you do. Maybe for Dolby Atmos setup, it might be helpful. But for me, I have my DAW. I have my rough mix, which is on another output out of Pro Tools. And then uh, the computer, which is for, you know, listening to, you know, music on Apple Music or Spotify or whatever that is. So I only need three inputs. So that's all I have here. Over here is the control room layout. Now I am just using stereo for now, but if you click this, you can see all the different formats. You can go 5.0 all the way up to 9.1.6 or 7.1.4. So the monitoring ability of this is, is, is vast. And if you're using it for Dolby Atmos, it could be super helpful because um, you can you know mute any of the speakers or, or, or so forth. Then you have your output section, which is the same thing. You have meters. This is just peak meters but you can pick the different ones you want. And then you have four outputs here and then you can switch here for three more. Um, right now, I just have my keys set up um, and then I do have an alt, but it's, it's not turned on right now. I haven't named it yet for uh, my focals, my little focals in the corner. Uh, below this is your main monitoring uh, controller. And I have this set up to my dock. You can't see in the camera, but if I turn this, you can see that the knob is turning on the sphere. So like I said, you can set this up with Avid Dock, Avid Yukon, or uh, Stream Deck, or I think you can also use it with uh, MIDI controllers. And then here you have mono or size, so you can listen just mono or listen to the sides. You can flip your left and right. You can flip the phase, which is something I always loved about the Avocet, had all those options. And then this is cool, you have three reference levels, so you can switch between three different levels that you preset if that's something you wanna do. Next is the Q section, and what's cool about the Q section for like headphones is it also has the mono and size, so you can do that as well. And then this is to turn it on and off, and then your Q levels. Um, the one thing that is a little annoying to me is in order to send it to the Q, you have to open the little cog wheel and then hit send to Q here. I wish there was a little bit quicker way to do that. Maybe you could just press a button on here and it would send it to the queue. Maybe they'll get that in a future update, but that's the way you send either your inputs to the queue. Next to the queue, you have talkback. I don't do any recording, but it's nice to have talkback. You could just hook up a mic right to the input and have a talkback, full monitoring system for all you that record. And then you have cut and dim, and you can change the value of the dim or just cut the volume altogether. And I can actually, press my monitor button and cut right from the Yukon. All right, so now how I have this set up in my system. In audio media devices, I created an aggregated device. So I, as you see here, when you install Sphere, it gives you three different um, input output options. You have Sphere 16, which is 16 IO or 16 um, channels, Sphere 32 and Sphere 64, that's like a tongue twister. And what that does is it gives you internal routing, which is cool because you could have a bunch of outputs from Pro Tools going to Sphere 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, actually like how I have it set up, and then bring that into the inputs of Sphere, 
um, and then just have a stereo out to your speakers. So it gives you a lot of cool routing that you can do internally. And the way I have it set up is with my Aurora N by Lynx Audio. So I have Sphere 16, which I only needed three outputs basically from Pro Tools, and then Aurora, which handles the speaker outputs and all my inputs and outputs to my analog gear. So that's how you have it set up here as an aggregated device. Then when I go here, I can set up my inputs here. And all you do is you go to the cog wheel and you go to input audio device. And so for that, my stereo out of Pro Tools or whatever DAW you're using is one and two. Then for my rough, which is out three and four of uh, Pro Tools is going to sphere three and four. So here is great because I can switch from my rough mix to the DAW and here, you know, if I'm making this mix better or worse. And then lastly, I have a computer, which is for, you know, as I said, Apple Music and YouTube or whatever you're listening to. And that's going out Sphere 13 and 14. Then we go to outputs and my output is going to Aurora TB3 output 19 and 20, which is the AES out of my Aurora, which goes to the digital end of my key speakers. And if you, you know, if you're using analog, you just do whatever analog outputs you have. Um, as you can see, I have all these outputs to choose from, from my Aurora. So I could have, you know, easily do a um, Atmos room with this setup or, you know, whatever, have 16 pairs of speakers to listen to different mixes on. And that's basically how you set it up. All right, so that is the overview of the plugin. I have been using this plugin for the last month and it's worked pretty well. I have had some issues when I'm turning the volume knob that it makes a little bit of a static. Now, I don't know if that has to do with the plugin and the latency, the way it works. You can change the latency on it. Um, or if it has to do with maybe the driver on the Aurora, uh, because I have had a little bit of issues with that since I just upgraded to the new Mac Studio. So hard to say if it's the computer or the driver or if it's the plugin, but that's the only issue I've had. As far as stability, it's worked really well. I've had a few times where I've had to restart, but it's been very few and far between. But just make sure, you know, you demo the plugin and try it on your system before, you know, you go and purchase it just to make sure it's working well. But other than that, it's been pretty seamless and I haven't had many other problems than that. So I just make sure when I'm bouncing not to change the volume too much and everything works out just fine. So let me know if you got any questions in the comments below. What are you using for your monitoring system? Is this something you'd be willing to check out? I'd like to know. If you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.